The year is 1928, and a young engineer named Carl Jansky, working at the Bell Labs in New Jersey, is tasked with finding a gigantic source of static that's been causing widespread interference with international radio communications. Little did he know, however, that his work would lead to one of the most astonishing breakthroughs in the history of astronomy. Jansky's determination and innovative approach to his research resulted in the discovery of Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. At the time, however, researchers were unaware of the scope of what was discovered, assuming it to be just a simple radio source, and his discovery garnered little attention at the time. Jansky's discovery was a turning point in the history of astronomy and opened up new avenues of research and exploration. Prior to Jansky's work, astronomers had only been able to observe the universe through visible light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation that were limited to specific wavelengths. The discovery of Sagittarius A, however, which was found to emit radio waves, allowed scientists to study the universe in a whole new way, providing a window into the mysteries of the cosmos that had never been seen before. In the decades following Jansky's discovery, other astronomers began to make important contributions to our understanding of Sagittarius A. In the 1950s, the Australian radio astronomer John Bolton and his colleagues were able to show that the area surrounding Sagittarius A was rather compact, suggesting that it was likely a massive object. In the 1960s, the American astronomers Andrew Line and Francis Graham Smith used radio interferometry to measure the size of Sagittarius A and determined that it was likely a few million miles across. As we reach into the 1980s and 1990s, astronomers used the VLA telescopes, which stands for Very Large Array, to make precise measurements of the motions of stars near the center of the Milky Way. Based on the orbits of these stars, observations revealed that the stars were orbiting a massive and compact object with a mass estimated to be four million times that of the Sun. It was concluded that the only known explanation for all of these observations was the presence of a supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. This conclusion was further supported by observations made using the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Hubble Space Telescope, which showed that the region near Sagittarius A was devoid of any visible matter, suggesting that it was indisputably a black hole. In the years since, we've been able to garner many fascinating details and obscure facts about this black hole. For instance, it's estimated to spin at about 10% the speed of light, which means despite being over 10 million kilometers in size, it completes a full spin in just about 20 minutes. And recent data suggests that it might be creating stars in the millions by squashing together space dust in its vicinity through its massive gravitational pull. We're gonna take a look at all the amazing quirks and features of our black hole, what we know about its inner workings, and what projects scientists have in store for the future to gain a super massive understanding of how it operates. You're watching Liminology, and this is Super Massive, the story of our black hole.
In addition to studying Sagittarius A using radio telescopes, scientists are also using other instruments to learn more about the complex. For example, the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the XNM Newton X-ray Telescope are being used to study the X-ray emissions from Sagittarius A. X-rays are emitted by matter that is close to the black hole, such as hot gas and dust that are being heated by the intense gravitational forces of the black hole. By studying the X-ray emissions from it, astronomers can learn about the behavior of this matter and how it affects the formation of the black hole. Secondly, X-ray emissions can reveal important information about the environment around the black hole, including the presence of other objects, such as stars or even other black holes. This information can provide insight into the formation and evolution of black holes and the galaxies that contain them. And thirdly, X-ray emissions from black holes can be used to study the properties of the black hole itself such as its size, its spin, and its magnetic field. Through the combination of data from radio telescopes and X-ray telescopes, scientists have begun to get a better idea of the properties of the black hole itself. For example, the mass of Sagittarius A has been estimated to be approximately 4 million solar masses. This value was determined through a combination of astronomical observations, including the motions of stars near the black hole and the modeling of their orbits. However, the size of Sagittarius A is extremely small compared to its mass. With its event horizon, the point of no return for matter falling into the black hole, estimated to be approximately 20 million kilometers in diameter. This value was determined by modeling the motion of stars and gas near the black hole and the effect of the black hole's gravity on this material. The spin of Sagittarius A is an important property that affects its behavior and the behavior of matter in its vicinity. The spin of Sagittarius A has been estimated to be rapid, with its event horizon rotating approximately once every 20 minutes. This value was determined by observing the behavior of X-rays emitted by matter near the black hole and modeling the motion of this material and the magnetic field of Sagittarius A is thought to be very strong, with values estimated to be in the range of 10,000 to 1 million Gauss. To put that into perspective, the magnetic field of Earth is about 0.25 to 0.65 Gauss. This value was determined by observing the behavior of plasma near the black hole and the effects of the magnetic field on this material. Another important area of research related to Sagittarius A is the study of the stars that are located near the black hole. These stars are moving at very high speeds and some of them are actually being pulled into the black hole itself. By studying these stars, scientists can learn more about the effects of the black hole on its surroundings. One of the most exciting recent developments related to Sagittarius A is the discovery of a group of young stars that are located near the black hole. These stars are only a few million years old which is very young compared to the rest of the stars in the Milky Way. This discovery suggests that new stars are still forming near the black hole, despite the extreme conditions in that region of the galaxy. Scientists theorize that the intense gravitational forces of a black hole can trigger the formation of stars by disrupting nearby gas and dust clouds and compressing them leading to the formation of new stars. 
This process, known as black hole-driven star formation, can result in the formation of a large number of young stars in the vicinity of a black hole. The study of gas and dust that surrounds the black hole also tells us about more than just star formation. This material forms a disk around the black hole and it is thought to interact with the high energy particles that are emitted from the Sagittarius Day complex, such as cosmic rays. And thus studying the gas and dust can give us some insights into the nature of these high energy particles. One example of this interaction is the process of X-ray photoionization. X-rays emitted by Sagittarius Bay can ionize the gas in the surrounding environment, causing it to emit X-rays of its own. This ionized gas can also produce a kind of stellar wind that pushes material away from the black hole, influencing the evolution of the surrounding environment. Another example of the black hole's effect on high energy particles would be the process of cosmic ray heating. Cosmic rays emitted by Sagittarius A can heat the surrounding gas and dust, causing it to emit thermal X-rays. This process can also influence the motion of the gas in the dust, leading to the formation of structures such as arcs, pediments, and other shapes that are observed in the vicinity of the black hole. One of the key challenges facing scientists who study Sagittarius A is the fact that it is located in the center of the Milky Way galaxy, which makes it difficult to observe. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy and Sagittarius A is located at the center of its bulge, which is a dense region of stars, gas, and dust. This makes it difficult for telescopes to see Sagittarius A clearly, since the light from the surrounding stars can interfere with the observations. But scientists are beginning to develop solutions to these obstacles. The Event Horizon Telescope, for example, is an international collaboration of astronomers who use a network of telescopes to observe black holes, including Sagittarius A. The EHT uses a technique called Very Long Baseline Interferometry to combine data from multiple telescopes located in different parts of the world to form a virtual telescope with a diameter as large as the Earth itself. This allows the Event Horizon Telescope to achieve a much higher resolution than would be possible with just a single telescope. The Event Horizon Telescope uses several telescopes located in different parts of the world, including the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array in Chile, the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii, the Large Millimeter Telescope in Mexico, the South Pole Telescope in Antarctica, and the Submillimeter Array in Hawaii. Another important area of modern research are high-resolution computational simulations of black holes, which are carried out using powerful supercomputers. There are several institutions and research groups around the world that specialize in carrying out high-resolution simulations of black holes and other astronomical objects. The Max Planck Institute for Gravitational Physics, for example, uses specialized software called numerical relativity codes, which are designed to handle the complex mathematical equations that describe the behavior of matter and radiation in black holes. Astrophysicists consider this to be a key component in understanding how black holes work. Through modern technologies and computational models, scientists will be able to expand their understanding of Sagittarius Bay, and new discoveries are likely just around the corner and on the horizon.
the study of Sagittarius A represents more than just the exploration of a single object in space. It provides us with a window into some of the most extreme and mysterious objects in the universe and helps us understand the fundamental laws of physics that govern our cosmos. As we continue to unravel the secrets of Sagittarius A, we are reminded of the infinite potential of the universe and the infinite possibilities of human knowledge. With each new discovery, we are drawn closer to a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos. If you enjoyed this video, and given that you're still here, I imagine that you did. We got another video here about why scientists now believe there's likely to be life beyond Earth. Until next time, thank you for watching.